Hello, this is Victor, and I hope this is working well today. It looks like yes, and I forgot to put the music. Just one moment, I will put the music. And we are here for another painting session. I wanted to be earlier today. And now that I'm alone at home, and I wanted to take advantage of this time that I have at home, and just to paint some miniatures. So just let me put some. Authorize YouTube music as a background. We cannot choose what music we put as a background when you painting live in YouTube. And I have my windows open. Maybe we'll hear some airplane background as well. There should be there should be some music. No, let me check. This is not playing. Why is that? Ah, because of the volume. Here is. Oh, the volume is low. Okay. Oh, come on. My computer today is stupid. I need a new computer. I think I will need a new computer soon on that. Uh, let me just change this. Sorry for that. I don't want to update that. There are things that they don't, they are not keep from one see Okay, we have the music going on. You can hear some music. And I hope someone will be able to join today. So I'm going to check now that um, it's being forecast correctly. Looks, there, here is saying that I have excellent connection. So let me just confirm that looking in YouTube that I have the correct connection. No, I don't want this. Yeah, here is the life is here. Okay, all this is working. We are ready to paint. I will just so yeah if you're joining please uh, feel free to leave any comment um, um any question welcome is welcome here we are yeah i want to share you some some things and some news for the channel and then maybe we paint a little bit but let me just check because this is not working no yeah it's working Okay, open with you. Okay. Should come everything correctly now. Let me first talk a little bit here and I will show you what I've been working about. So, if you follow my channel, you have seen I make a couple of tutorials from this guy. Okay, let me just make the OBS because it's easier for me to know where I am. Okay, so here you can see this is the Caradon guy that came in Kur City. So I have one of another hero painted. Okay. I think it looks I, I like a lot this guy. I think it's a very nice looking one. Uh, I like a lot of the character. To be fair, I like almost all the miniatures from um, Core City. Um, we are going to finalize painting the zombies. Okay, so this is one of the zombies. Almost painted. I want to finalize these two today in the life. And I'm keeping one that I'm using for the tutorials. But I will need to wait until the night or another time to do it. You can see this less advanced. I'm quite happy how they look like. So here you can see another example. I went for quite. I like. I wanted. I know that they are supposed to be off this and the, but I prefer to keep the candles on, like if they were always burning. Hi, Johan. Thanks. Thanks a lot for passing by. Huh? Where are you living exactly? If you, if I, I may ask, 
I will move out of Brussels soon. I will move to Erpwerp, uh, most likely in the future, to live. So I'm moving more towards Leuven, more into the Fl uh, Flemish area, because I need, uh, yeah, I'm planning to move uh, this year. If I don't have any problem, I should be able to to buy a house. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to buy a house in Erpswerps. So yeah. And next we are going to be painting these guys. Okay. I have this. I have everything here. And another thing that I I'm really want to put in between is this warban. But um, yeah, but we still. I don't know if you are, John. Um, if you are in Facebook, we have a, a Warhammer Underworlds community in Facebook, and we meet every um, Wednesday in Brussels. So if you are able to come, we meet every. Yeah. Ah, sorry, I did not recognize you, Johan. Uh, we try to do every Wednesday. I, I will try to, to keep... So I will try to meet again next Wednesday. Let's see if we can keep this more regular basis and meet again next Wednesday. I want to keep more regular. So it's something that um, I will love to keep. So now I will... Yeah, and I will be... I just paint, I, I will be painting now these guys, these are the new, this is really strong one, I had the, I, I bought them the same day that they were released, I just received it yesterday, okay, but I wanted to assemble and I think they will step, the, I, will, I will paint them the first, they are really nice miniatures, so let me just remove this and we can start painting, Yeah, well, not uh, if you are. Yeah, if we, we I will try to put the event um, earlier, but I, I'm planning most likely to meet again this Wednesday. If you want, we can yeah keep um, there, but I, I most likely we will try to uh, to be there on Wednesday. Yeah, and work cry I'm not too much into. I. I was uh, uh, yeah. I, I didn't buy the last box. I cannot be on all the games, and I prefer to focus more on Warhammer Underworlds and than Warcry. But I also have a couple of War uh, Warcry Warbands in case one day we want to play. So if you want, you can drop me an email. So I give you. I will put here my email. I think a lot is open. I put here my email. We can talk by email if you want as well. This is my this is my email. Yeah, where we play is the outpost in Brussels. Yeah, where we yeah where we play is the op we played in two places in Brussels. And recently, we are playing the outpost. Is a really a magic oriented place, and most. Uh, and, and there is beers, so we always play with a beer. So uh, this is a must have. And before we were playing as well in the Kings and um, Kings and Queen, and there is also a lot of beer there and food. Uh, the opus, I, I'm not too much into the food that they have there, but okay. And if we play at home, I have beers as well. So let me just, I will stop one of the, ca the cameras and then I can paint. So 
but yeah. No, I hope you can you can meet. We play normally. What we play um, is we play rivals. Last time we played rivals plus. That is uh, rivals plus using one of the uh, other rival deck to complement, and then we. Yeah, kings, kings and queens is placed um, very close to the blue care in Brussels, uh, in the downtown. And the outpost is more next to the park. In, in Both are quite in the downtown, but um, the, the kings and queens is really in the downtown. The other one is more uh, a little bit farther from the downtown. It's next to the park. But uh, anyway, we play in English most of the times because I, I don't I don't speak too much French, so it's not going to be a problem, I think. So last time we play, we were playing championship and rivals plus but we also play rivals i always have I, I always go with three decks a rivals deck a rivals plus and a championship i will go with these three decks what i don't playing is i don't have a deck of relic at this moment because there is not too many players playing relic and most of the time we play rivals that is the easiest way to play but yeah you are more than welcome to join us to play. Uh, the more the most we are, the more interesting because then you have different players. Okay. And I'm looking because normally we used to be three players, and uh, let's see if we can be four because it's much easier for players. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, playing against. No, oh, but the... yeah, I know. So my my deck is in English, and Simon um, normally have the deck in English as well, and then Nicola have the decks in French. But when you don't play competitive, I think you have time to to translate. It's not that. That you are in the hurry anymore. So let's see if I can finalize this. Uh, I only have to do some fine retouches on this guy to finalize it. So I hope you can do it one day and join us. Okay, no, if you can do it, I will try to place the event as soon as possible into into I, I will try to put the event tomorrow in or this tonight into the um, Facebook group. So then there you we can and then yeah I will think I, I will put the outpost again as a place to play. And you are more than welcome to join us. We are all people with the same hobby. So.
I will think about that to go to Hull. Not this week, tomorrow, I, uh, tomorrow or this morning, I don't think I will be able to go, but I will think about that. I hope we can, yeah, we used to have quite a nice Warhammer Underworlds community in Brussels and the pandemic really killed the all this and all, uh, we try to, to contact back some of the players but most of them have stopped playing Warhammer Underworlds so I hope we can recover again Warhammer Underworlds in, that, in Brussels. Yeah, I think, if not I will, yeah, the other thing is to go by car. Because I'm living, in reality, I'm living in Krynem. Yeah, I understand. A lot of people stop playing Warhammer Underworlds with the pandemic. During the pandemic, the one of the games that were more hard during the pandemic was Warhammer Underworlds. And I was hoping that rivals can help some people to come back. Because you don't need to invest in all the cards that were released, you only need to buy a deck. But I think little by little we can create again a community around Brussels. Brussels or Hull or... So I don't mind to move all, um, to other places. Yeah, and, and I think with rivals that you can use just the then rivals is a very nice way to introduce the people to Warhammer Underworld because you only need that the deck even for people that have um, leave the game and wants to come back because you only need to take the cards of the faction and play with these cards. The only point is that the Season 1 and 2, I recommend you to use a basic base faction. Because Season 1 and 2 were not... They are lacking cards. And if you can buy one of the last warbands, these are very strong. Normally they are quite well prepared. Not very strong, but they are quite well prepared for um, for rivals.
Yeah, I, I tried to do it more regular, the, the meetings in, in Brussels, but we were doing only every two weeks because there were not too many people and most of the time some people were not available. But if we are more people, I think then we are not so much, um, much depending on some. And then we can do it every week or maybe every two weeks in the future. But I can do it again this week, so it will be great to meet you. And I will also inform Simon so he can also join. And I will check with Nicola. Well, so we can be four people. It can be a nice group to play rivals. No, the holiday season is almost over. And we go a little bit back to normality. Nice to hear. Will be great and I would love to see the group glowing. No, Simon is, is Italian speaking, so we speak English normally. And he plays uh, a lot of different type of um, warbands. So it's, uh, Simon is Italian and English is speaking normally. I think from the group of people that we used to meet in, in so from the people that we used to meet before the pandemic, I'm the only one that keeps playing in Brussels. Nicola and well, also Lorenzo joined uh, once a couple of times, but 
Nicola and Simon are new. I, I meet them after the the pandemic, so they were not playing there before the pandemic. So, Simon is from, from Italy, and Nicola is from, is from, the, from La Valonia, it's, it's from it's, it's Belgium, but French speaking. But normally we always play in English. Okay, so if I want to play competitive, I'm with you. My favorite game is is Warhammer Underworlds. I think it's I find it quite balanced in a way, and it's designed for competitive, so I I, I really like it, but also. I'm very relaxed when I play competitive, so it's not that, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you play competitive, you design for competitive to win, but okay, I'm not too much into that, I don't know how to explain it. Then uh, other games I played, I play, I, I play a lot 40k, Warhammer 40,000, I have not been playing recently, but yeah, I play um, as well when I can Warhammer 40,000. It's again, it's my the first war game I start collecting. I have a huge, huge army of Warhammer 40,000, and it's really a game that I enjoy a lot playing. I I like to collect big armies as well. And yeah, I love a lot Blue Ball. Blue Ball, I, I think it's... So I like to play a lot 40,000 as a narrative game. Okay, we, we play it with the um, Crusade... Com uh, we are playing a, like a Crusade campaign. And I like a lot the format, so I like a lot the narrative um, way of playing Warhammer 40,000. I'm not too much into the competitive part of Warhammer 40,000. I think it's... You need to invest a lot of time and resources for that. And I prefer to take it easy to collect what I like it and play more on the on the on the narrative part of the Warhammer 40,000. And the same for Age of Sigmar. I also like Age of Sigmar, and I like to play it more on the narrative part. I used to play in some tournaments of Age of Sigmar um, um, with my Stormcast Eternals, but uh, I'm I'm enjoying more more than 
I, I, I like to play in tournaments, don't get me wrong, but I prefer, I, I enjoy more to have an afternoon, a relaxed afternoon playing a game with a friend or person that I just meet for the game. So I, I, it's more relaxing for me to play just a game in a one afternoon and take it easy and, and not to to rush because you you need to, to do three games in one day. So this way I like more the narrative part and I like more the, the casual gaming. Okay. And I think the, the to play competitive for me it's more um Warhammer Underworlds. I also try to play blue ball. I I'm I I love a lot blue ball. And I like to paint it blue ball teams as well. I have a, a, some blue ball teams, uh, others painted to be painted. I play this more as a family game uh, when I convince my kids to play with me because I find that it's a game that is easy to teach. And I can, uh, you don't need to hide cards. For example, the problem of Warhammer on the Wolf to teach my little one is that he needs to read and understand the mechanics to play. And it's hard for him, so I prefer to play more blue ball or games that I can support me more him. And I think blue ball is quite a fun game as well. Okay, you played. Uh, see that uh, you have thirty, thirty, uh, 30 uh, three thousand points of elder. Three thousand points of elder army, a lot of kill team, which I didn't go good. Here it was a bad investment, but I'm not. Yeah, kill team I don't know, and I'm into forty k narrative thing. Except you are not into. Yeah, but I, the crusade I like it. So forty k. Well, I also like to do pickup games in forty k, but I don't go with a super. Um, um, I, I don't go with a, 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 a list that is super rounded and, and well designed. I'm, I'm not spending too much time in list uh, building. I, I try to play with what with the units that I like, and sometimes they are not the most competitive ones. Yeah, Nature of Sigmar. Yeah, Daltos of Cain is uh, really ahead of Nature of Slanish. So you have the two enemies, right? Because the head and knights of Slanish are almost the yeah they want to kill the well, all the elves right including the daughters of Cain. Three blue seven blue ball and dungeon yeah I have also the dungeon I have. Um, the Dungeon Ball, the the two teams that they were released with the Dungeon Ball. I only have these two. But I did not paint them yet. I did not have time to paint the Dungeon Ball. So it's like me, you like to be in a lot of different games. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, Delta of Cain is a very nice army. I, I like a lot the miniatures, especially the new ones. I think Games Workshop did a good job. But uh, in in Age of Sigmar, I have in Age of Sigmar, I have um, Stormcast Eternals. I have um, the Ghost, the Nighthound, and then. Um, some corn, but my corn is not optimized. It's more demons and and the box, the starter set. But on on, and then I have Skaven because I changed all the bases of my Skaven from a square to rounded bases. Because I used to play fantasy before, but I'm not too much into the ninth um, age. So I'm not. I don't like to man too much the rank armies.
I still have some of old paints from the 90s, I think. Should have some here. Look, talking about this type of paints. But I paint so much that the main colors are completely exhausted. Kill team. I, I have. If one day you want to also practice kill team, on kill team, I have. I, I can play with because I have a lot of armies in 40k, so I can play kill team. But I also have um, the Elucidian and the Geller Fox, uh, and they will have rules soon. And I have the the. I need to assemble them and paint. But I also have the um, the Sisters of Battle. Because in 40k you have too many armies and one of them is Sisters of Battle and I bought the Novice Eye. Yeah. Yeah, I think in Daughters of Cain they make a very nice job. And I like a lot as well the Moratti, how she, how she was done. I think they make a very nice miniatures in Doubters. I did not go into a Doubters game because I have too many armies already. So, no way I start more armies. There is a moment that you have to stop. Because you don't have the money and the time. This is why I have problems in 40k to keep my armies updated. Because I have too many armies. So and too many open projects. That I can I cannot completely update my armies. Okay, we have another zombie done. Let's do the rim. <laughs> another good thing in I think in Nature Sigma that if you want you can buy a unit of another army as a lie. Because uh, there is a, a I think there is a good yeah. roles for allies, although they are not the strongest um, things to do, but something that you can also do. I enjoy it a lot when I painted Autos of Cain, the warband uh, that was in for, for Underworlds. This is why I like a lot Warhammer Underworlds, because it gives me the opportunity to paint armies, that I, to paint units I, I will never paint, right? So painting a unit of Autos of Cain, painting, I don't know, the armies that I will never collect, or it's very difficult that I will collect, it's nice to, the Caradon, so I, I really enjoy painting the Caradon. Guys, the Caron Overlords. But Dr. Rokain, I remember, is one of the warbands that I enjoy painting. So this is why I really love, this is one of the things I love from, from Warhammer Underworlds, the opportunity to paint factions, different factions, and each warband have a lot of personality. <laughs> yeah, 38 is a lot of warbands. But I think now that they have put profiles, 
for a lot of the war um, no, I don't I don't think I have that many warbands but so then can you also play a slave to darkness because if you have a lot of warbands from Warcry a lot of them are chaos Warcry is also an interesting game, but the problem is I don't have time for and money for more games. It's also an interesting game because also you can uh, you, there was I think the, the Dark Elf they released for uh, Warcry they were very nice. So you also can you also can you don't need to invest a lot of money for an army. Yes, I was imagining. Yeah, because you have a lot of chaos there. They have released very nice warbands for Warcry. And again, I think they, they, they did a good work. I understand the strategy that they have also included the regular armies in there, but I think the game is really designed to play with the special warbands that were released for the game. I think this was a change they did to the original mindset of the game. But they have the two the two warbands from the star set, the starter set, the first starter set, the um, iron golems and the um, untamed um, beast masters as are called untamed beast masters. And then of course. As I have escavings, I can play with the escavings, I can play with the different warbands of the stonecast, because I have a huge army of stonecast, so I can play any of the stonecast warbands. The only thing I did not I did not buy the second nation rules yet. I then want to invest in a full box. So I'm trying to get the the rule book. Yeah, don't time it this this one. Yeah, I yeah, Warcry give a lot of nice terrain as well. So from the previous expansions, I bought the terrain and the rules. So I have the terrain, some of the terrain and the rules of the catacombs. And as well from the, I think what's called the Red Harvest. I have terrain from the Red Harvest. I think the, because I really like it and I think it can be used as well in, in the only problem I didn't have time to paint this terrain yet. And then I, I did the Mortal Realms collection in Spain because I managed to, to send it to my parents. So I have no a lot of terrain for each of Sigmar. No, I did not paint the red right harvest terrain yet. I just assemble it and prime. But it's very nice. 
And I like a lot the mechanic that the terrain is more interactive, that you can activate parts. I think this was very interesting. And another game that I just have a couple of warbands is Necromunda. And this was more a, a thing of nostalgia, because I used to play Necromunda in the 90s. So I, I decided to, to collect a little bit. But of course, did this one I did not manage to play more than one game with my wife. Necromunda is also very narrative. Let's see if we can just bring out the bottom of this dress. I don't think a zombie will have a nice and green and clean dress. Well, yeah, I, I bought the, when they released the box and then I just expanded the two warbands that were coming in the box, the Goliath and the, and the Asher. But I really love the design. I'm thinking to buy some more in the future. Because I, I liked a lot the meter from Necromunda. I did not buy I did not buy the Ice Waste box. I just managed to get the I, I just bought the rule book to have the rules. But it's very interesting if you have a a, a, a leak or a campaign of Necromunda, it's very interesting what they have done there because then you can spam with vehicles. Yeah, and have seen the new bikes for the Asher. These ones, I don't know if you have seen them in the website. I think I will need to buy the new bike from the Asher when they are released. When I have a, a, a faction that I like it, normally uh, I like to collect, even if I don't play them, because I also enjoy a lot painting and collecting. So sometimes I do things only for the sake of collecting. And then to play alone at home when I'm bored, I like to play Blackstone Fortress and and now I'm painting this to be able to play Core City.
So Blackstone Fortress and Core City is a play alone game. Yeah, I think that the new bikes. And are you planning to buy the new bots from the kill team? Or you stop buying kill team at this moment? Because I think tomorrow they will announce that we'll be in pre-order for next week. So kill team is coming quite strong now. I think now the difficulty is that there are too many games and not enough people for all these games in the dungeon. Yeah, I agree with you. I was thinking the same. I will try to find their new rules. So this is the thing we will need, I guess. We will need some of the new rules. But I agree with you that with that I have also the arena. So you can use the arena for to play. At the end, the only thing we will need is the adapted rules. But I'm in the same page as you. I'm not planning to buy the box because since we changed to the second edition, I stopped buying boxes. And they released too many boxes to keep all the games active. I prefer to focus on the games that I'm really playing. But if I can put my hands on the rules, I was thinking, anyway, the, the only thing is that this terrain, the terrain from this kill team, it's also very interesting for Necromunda. And even for uh, to play close, in uh, 40k to play in close spaces. So the only thing that I was hesitating about this box is because of the terrain. The only problem is I don't want two new war bands to paint. But I think TT Combat that are doing MDF terrain, they have some similar terrain at very affordable price. I think, I don't know if you know the company TT Combat, They do similar terrain, but quite affordable.
is in make made in MDF. The only thing I'm hesitating is that it has to be ordered in UK. And I'm concerned about the customs. Because since UK have left the EU, the customs are a little bit random. Sometimes they charge me customs and sometimes no, so I stop buying in UK. Because uh, you cannot predict. Even when you pay extra for the shipment and customs, sometimes they even ask you to pay again. white dot in the time. Okay, one thing I learned is normally I don't use pure white to do that. I use more a cream color. This but the problem is this color I have in my white palette is a little bit this is called 75 colors, sometimes they have a very strange texture. This is not working this color. Look. Okay. So, what I realize is that I'm more a collector than a player. Because I would like to, I, I, I don't have time to play all the games I'm collecting. This is, this is the... the end of reality, no? But uh, the other thing is, I cannot... I also enjoy a lot painting. So I don't regret doing... Um, 
buying them because I, I also enjoy them painting them. One moment, I'm very focused on that. No, we don't mind, of course, we don't mind that you join us. We, we try to be quite relaxed, don't worry. I'm also enjoying the views. I always think that the games you want to take quite relaxed, right? Is you do it to enjoy, not to argue, not to. So at the end, it's something that we do to spend some time, to enjoy, to have a fun time. So you don't need to. We sometimes we some uh, in the competitive atmosphere, maybe some people is losing this from the perspective but yeah you should do a hobby because you enjoy the hobby it's not an obligation right if it's becoming an obligation or something like that for a reason to argue you have to rethink what you're doing so with this mindset we take we take our gaming moment very very relaxed i'm from barcelona Originally, I'm from Barcelona, but I've been living in Belgium. No, I've been living in Belgium for about almost 12 years in Belgium. And I'm planning to, yeah, I'm not speaking French, neither Flemish. I'm planning to learn Flemish maybe next year. Flaming oh, called Netherlands. But living in Flanders, no, in, in Trinem is a facility commune, so I can speak French or English in the without any problem. But as I'm moving more to Flanders, I would like to, to learn some Flemish. I mean the hobby, I'm I've been in the hobby now for almost 30 years in the hobby. I'm counting since yeah, since I was yes yeah, 17, so it's going to be I've been in the hobby for 29 years.
I think I started about 92, 93, I'm not sure, so it's going to be in that frame. I started in Wargaming with Battletech. But was without miniatures, was with the carton things. And I still have, I still keeping Battletech, Aerotech. I really, I really, we really spend a lot of time playing Battletech and Aerotech. I have the version from the 90s. And then one year after we jump into Warhammer 40,000 second edition. A very good friend of mine bring it. Second edition, we play the first game and we got hood into the game. Although second edition was a little bit messy, we really enjoy it. The close combat was very complicated in second edition. Then they streamlined a lot on third edition. Even more streamlined than what we have seen in eighth edition. And then I really. I remember a lot of players complained it was too streamlined the game. But now looking at it retrospectively, I think Game Workshop did the did the right movement. So third edition was one of the big changes. Was one of the of, of these editions that the Games Workshop did a big, big, big change on the on the game, and I think it was for good. They simplified a lot the close combat; it was too complicated, and was not adding too much. They streamlined some weapons. The profiles as well. And then I think fourth edition was a good evolution. Because then they had some additional rules that were needed and some they corrected some bugs that were in the rules. And after, yeah, I think 4th and 5th edition were quite interesting, and 6th and 7th were too crazy. I think that in 7th the detachment idea was interesting, but was mainly for narrative, and people and not they should not have released this for the competitive, because people use it too competitively. And then this was not good for the game. Then I thought 8th edition was a good change, simplification, but as well allowing some alliances. The problem of the alliances, I like them a lot, because for me when I have a huge collection and playing more in the narrative mindset, I like a lot to be able to, to do alliances, to make a special armies. The problem of is that the people is exploiting this too much into the, into the when we talk about competitive making the, the game very difficult to balance. And this way I understand that at the end, Workshop decide to minimize or make more difficult the access to the army suits.
Okay. I want to finalize this lady and then I think I will finalize the streaming because it's almost nine and I'm start to be hungry. Here we are. And I think with that, we can give this a conclude. We don't need. The idea is not to have a very clean job here, right? I like a lot the, how the mod effect is looking on the bottom. I think it will look good and I also like the jersey. I think what I will do, I will add a little bit more Agrax edge shape. To make this a little bit darker. I was your chain was a. Yeah, I guess you are. Yeah, yeah, it's quite late, so I think it's going to be a good time as well for me to go and to do to for and to go for dinner. So here it is. Another. Zombie painted and only one missing to paint the full unit. And let's see if soon I can play Course City because I like to play with the painted miniatures. And I think I will start with painting the Warband, the X Vein Warband. I think it's. I want. I have painted all the Warhammer Underworld Warbands, and the only one missing, of course, is this one because I just received it. So I like to have all the war ones painted. And I think this week we are going to have some reveals in Women's Workshop on Warhammer Underworlds. So we have the Nova, and I think they will do some reveals on Warhammer Underworlds, H.O. Sigmar, Warhammer 40,000. And kill team maybe. Okay, I will look for that. Legends of the Painting Men podcast. I will look for that. Thanks a lot for the recommendation. So let me just put on my camera so I can say goodbye. So yeah, it's now almost nine and I'm really starving. I'm hungry. So I will stop here the streaming. Johan, thanks a lot for joining, for the conversation. Very welcome. I hope you can join again in the future. Ah, really? <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I always, yeah, it's, it's something that I have so many painted armies uh, and miniatures that I, it's a shame that I don't use the painted ones. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Johan, for joining. I will go for some food. Uh, I hope, uh, yeah, I really hope to see you on Wednesday in the. I will put it in the all post, okay? So we, I will put anyway the event in the Facebook group. But I hope to see you in the uh, all post. Normally we meet between six thirty and seven there, okay? So I will put anyway the invitation there and you will have all the data as well. And I will then check with Simon if he's also joining and blah, blah. Okay, thanks a lot for the conversation during the streaming. It, uh, and yeah, and as usual, thanks a lot to all the other people for watching this later on. Or and yeah, and I hope to see you again later. See you. Take care, Johan. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs>